Prior to Mar-a-Lago, Kanye West decides, well, you know, I'm going to run for president 24. I'm going to go down and... What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. See what I see and, uh, hey, look, it's Nick Fuentes. What the hell's going on out here? Known anti-Semite. He ain't lying. I'm Jazz Borgonzo and this, oof, it's what's next. <laughs> Happy Monday, everyone. Jazz Borgonzo here. Another episode of What's Next, your daily dose of common sense and facts. Hope you're enjoying this wonderful day, wherever you are. Kanye West, or he calls himself now Ye, has had a uh, string of bad luck lately. Now, I did a video a while back in regards to his sit down with Taylor, I mean, not well, Taylor Lorenz. That was my last video. Good grief. Um, Tucker Carlson, excuse me, I do not mean to insult Tucker. And, um, a lot of people thought, well, maybe he may be turning the page that ye may be turning the page and say, Hey, you know what? There's a lot of situations going on. Um, I'm trying to get those things straightened out and what have you. And it turned out to be a good interview. He got points for it. But then he went on a podcast and he went on an anti-Semite rant. And then follow that up with his announcement for President 24. Then he followed that up with going to Mar-a-Lago and meeting with Nick Fuentes, who is known very well as an anti-Semite. So, uh, Ye is on a roll. Let's take a look. This comes out of Breitbart. Kanye continues anti-Semitic streak, opens live stream of Holocaust denier Nick Fuentes. Woof. A resolutely, unapologetic Kanye West continued his anti-Semitic streak over the weekend, doubling down on past smears of Jewish people and opening a live stream event for Holocaust denier Nick Fuentes. The billionaire rapper and fashion mogul is coming off an especially tumultuous few days during the in which he announced he will run for president in 24. He also met with former President Donald Trump at Mar-a-Lago, a meeting that ended with Trump publicly calling West a seriously troubled man. West spoke to the brief, uh, sorry, to the press briefly Saturday, refusing to back down his past comments, uh, villainizing all Jewish people and particularly Jewish businessmen. Yes, once again, attacking Jewish businessmen. It's not okay, he said. We've now seen everything that happens when you speak up on these contracts and speak up on all these dealings that have been done and you point this stuff out, they try to destroy me. Because according to Kanye, everyone's out to get him. West seems to be referring to the past comments about Josh and Jared Kushner, that he had made during an interview with Fox News Tucker Carlson in October. During the interview, West accused the brothers of engaging in shady business practices regarding the Skims clothing line owned by West's former wife, Kim Kardashian. He also appeared to echo his past criticism of the Hollywood record label contracts that he has argued are unfair to black artists. Since the Tucker Carlson interview, West has made a string of anti-Semitic comments, including threatening to go death con three on Jewish people. Uh, that was the Instagram I left out. Excuse me, I forgot about that. And claiming that Jewish people have owned the black voice. On Saturday, West told reporters that he's one of the most forgiving people before adding, I can't hate anyone. There's, there's I, enjoy, I talked to the pastor and he came to me and said, yo, uh, it seems like there's people who think you don't like Jewish people. And I just want to tell you that Jesus loves you. And I said, I know. And then I said, I have problems with certain business practices. And he said, well, it's okay. And I said, it's not okay. It's not okay. This is the whole thing. It's like, we've now seen Everything that happens, if you speak up on these contracts and you speak up on all of the dealings that have been done and you point this stuff out, it's like they tried to destroy me. Okay. Francis had used his America First show to repeatedly deliver rants against Jews, one saying that organized Jews, uh, Jewry is extremely influential in the United States. He also told Jews to stop talking about the Holocaust. I've heard enough about this Holocaust, he said on the show. Uh, I've heard enough about it. In 2019, clip emerged of Frentes denying the Holocaust. Frentes has also called Donald Trump disavowal of white supremacy. 
totally wrong and a big mistake after Trump said, I got nothing to do with these white Supremes. Frente said, yeah, you know what? That was not good. No, that was good. West had grown increasingly close to Frente's in the recent weeks, as Breitbart News reported. West brought Frente's to his meeting with President Trump at Mar-a-Lago this weekend. Trump's campaign provided Breitbart with a statement from President Trump. Kanye West is a very much, uh, very much wanted to visit a Mar-a-Lago. Our dinner meeting was intended to, uh, to be Kanye and me only, but he arrived with a guest whom I've never met and knew nothing about. Following the meeting, Trump called West a seriously troubled man on a Truth Social post. In the wake of his anti-Semitic rant, Kanye has lost business deals and relationship with long list of corporate partners, including Adidas, Foot Locker, Balancia, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Balaga. Who cares about the Balaga? Those do damn pedos. Vogue magazine and Hollywood mega talents agency CAA. West claimed they lost two billion in one day as a result to these lost deals. You see the pattern? It goes from the interview with Tucker Carlson. And then slowly goes down to the point where basically it's like now he's going off the rails, off the cliff with no brakes. Now, I do agree with the comment from Donald Trump. He is a seriously troubled man. He is. He, he, he does need continued therapy and to try to straighten himself out. But most importantly, he needs to get right with him. He seems to be, but then when you say, hey, Jesus is Lord out of one side of your mouth, and then on the other, you say, yeah, these nasty Jewish businessmen. Can't. You can't do that. You can't have one foot in and one foot out. Either you have both feet in or you have both feet out. Um, <clears throat> with this meeting with Nick Fuentes, I'm tired of hearing the Holocaust. Stop it with the Holocaust. How dare you with the Holocaust? The Holocaust doesn't exist. What? I'm sorry. This is not going to bode well for Kanye. And again, it just doubles and triples down on everything that he's been through the last few months. So, but um, yeah, I mean, Kanye still has serious problems. And uh, him hanging around with Nick Fuentes does not help one bit. It continues to hurt him. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Bergonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.